Hello and welcome to another video from the Grace Trail on YouTube and it is episode 27 of my FIFA 15 Burnley career mode. One of the biggest games we've had all season away at Old Trafford, February the 11th. It's going to be a cracker of a game I think. Um, Man United ninth in the table so they're not exactly doing brilliantly by their standards. Neither are Man City, it's been a pretty poor time for Manchester. Obviously we're midweek. Aston Villa only drew their game the day before this, so if we were to win this game, we would go six points. Um, get, well, we'd be six points away uh, from 18th place, which is quite a healthy margin to have, and it would push us up to the likes of West Ham and potentially Sunderland, and onto those 28-point guys. So this would be quite a crucial game for us. Um, and we are just going to have a look at the side here. I think we're going to go with this starting lineup again, to be fair. Um, I mean, yeah, I think we are going to go with the same starting lineup here uh, because it just works so well against West Brom in the end, really. Uh, so let's get into this. Manchester United away. We lost to them pretty horrifically at the start of the season, but our team's come a long way since then. So hopefully we can get something out of this. I mean, it's not going to be easy at all, but we've won at the Emirates. We've given Spurs a good run for their money at White Hart Lane. Um, we haven't faced Chelsea at home yet. Man City, obviously, we got destroyed, but we've beaten Arsenal and Liverpool this season, so that's got to give us confidence. Welcome to EA Sports, live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. It's going to be certainly an interesting one. <laughs> yeah, just look how many teams are on 28 points. So it is pretty ridiculous. I mean, a few wins and we are into the top half. A few losses and we're into the relegation zone. So this next month is going to be quite crucial, to say the least. Robin Van Persie is playing, and Di Maria, so it looks like a decent side for Man United. Um, also, I have to say, this this may be my last um, full-length game video. I mean, it's a hell of a uh, way to kind of end this format, if, if I do. Um, but I do now have kind of free trials, free, free trials of uh, certain editing software. So... I may kind of try out in the next few videos. Uh, well, we've got a chance. Oh, I may try out um, kind of putting three videos into one It was highlights and stuff. Um, but I'm not quite sure at the moment. I'm, I may even use this one, but uh, we need, I need to kind of use it a bit more first. Possibly using some old videos or something like that. Anyway, here's Ben Me. Bentaleb, and this has been a promising start so far all over Manchester United. Good ball in, Danny Ings was a header, and Lindergaard was tested slightly. Promising start though, despite Man United's pretty decent side. Chalaber into Bentaleb, who are, who, well, this midfield is just destroying the likes of De Maria and Blind at the moment. And Chalaber's got a bit of room now. And Danny Ings, we're, we're going to try and play out wide there. This is where we've got to watch out with them on the counter-attack. Obviously, May United's defence, not the strongest in the league. So we have to try and exploit that. So you would think this could be a bit high scoring. It was relatively high scoring the last time we faced each other, although it was more one-sided in terms of that. But then we probably didn't quite have the firepower at that point that we do now. Danny Ings over the top. Can Jutskovic get onto it? No, he can't. Uh... Unfortunate. Manchester United Here comes Di Maria. Oh man, this is nice passing football, but well, uh, uh, that was commentator's curse there, really. Uh, <laughs> oh, we had to get that pass, and it almost didn't quite work out for us. Kitely, that's a that could be a perfect ball for Ings, but I think it's just going to be slightly overhit. Lindegaard just got there. But Ings is looking sharp at the moment. But, well, both him and Djokovic, but especially Ings. Uh, been a bit disappointed with Ings this season, really. But uh, Although his Djokovic, and he's done very well there in a tight space. Tried to clip it through, couldn't quite. 
and sadly that's broken that attack up and now Blender's got a lot of room that was a nice dinked pass good tackle ish Blender's still going though and Rooney got to be careful now tries to play it across good clearance go on Danny Ings Juskovic come on ah uh, no oh, Chaba couldn't quite win it this has been quite a tactical game so far both teams look like they're going to threaten and then they kind of fall at the final hurdle. It's definitely end-to-end -end though. Good clearance. Ah, oh, unlucky there for Trippier. Uh, Valencia definitely a weak link. We have to try and go that down that side. Oh, Shaw's got... Oh, sorry, Blinder's got in there slightly. Good tackle, Trippier. Uh, got to be careful. Good save. Good header. Slaven got rid of it. Van Persie and I think it's going to be a corner is it yes it is oh May United putting the pressure on here we have to withstand this though it's not a great clearance and they're still threatening and they're still threatening and they're still threatening and it's another good save and we've still kept them out here and we still can't get rid of it and you've got to think they're going to score in a minute if we can't get rid of this and they've hit the post now and now we've cleared it. Please let this be. No, we still haven't got rid of it. Ah, oh, they're just putting the pressure on now. Come on. Get this damn ball and clear it. And that's Di Maria. Ah, oh, get rid of it. Yes, just hoof it or something. Yes, here we go. Counter-attack and now they're in trouble. Go on, Boyd. And we've played it into Bentaleb. And look how much room we have with Kitely here. Go on. Whips it in. Good ball. Juskovic couldn't get there. Oh, amazing uh, bit of play there, to be fair, though. I'm not quite sure how they... I'm amazed they haven't scored there, really. Boyd has done well there. And now he's clipped it into Ings. And this is nice football. Boyd has got a chance here. And it's a decent effort. It's gone in. And George Boyd has scored. Fantastic. Uh, I, it's a big mistake from Lindegaard. But I just sense that we might be getting that goal. And it's nice link-up play. And Lindegaard, that's poor. It probably would have been a penalty if it wasn't. But get in there. What a finish from George Boyd. It's his second of the season. And, well, 1-0 up at Old Trafford. Uh, is it going to be the, a repeat of the Emirates here? Got to be careful. They may not be looking really good going forward. And that's a free kick in a dangerous area. Oh boy, please, no, don't do this to me, FIFA. Oh, well, Van Persie, he's got a lot of criticism in real life. That pretty much sums up why. <laughs> Old and useless. On Trippier. Yeah, both teams look really good going forward in this game. The defence don't exactly, defenses don't look brilliant, which is kind of what I expected, but I'm surprised there's only been one goal thus far. Trippy is sadly offside there. Not quite sure why I attempted that pass. Ooh, putting the pressure on. And we forced them to kick it out for a throw there. Well, hey. Oh, just about kept that in. Now played it inside to Chalaber. Chalaber is running the show at the moment. We tried to clip it into Kitely as a poor pass, so. Shackle needs to win that in the air, and he does. That's fantastic. Oh, Danny Ings unlucky. Chance for Van Persie now, then. Uh, Valencia. They've got Fellaini and Valencia in there, who are kind of their weak links. Um, oh, I've got to be careful here. Valencia's got a bit of a chance in the corner. Good block, Kitely. They've got a corner now again. It'd be nice if we could hold on till the end of the half. Looks like they're going to try and go short here, actually. And they are. Which might come back to bite them, or it could work fantastically. Here's Daily Blind. Rojo. Rojo, of all people, has the ball. And if he'd lost it, there would have been trouble. But Valencia's driven into the hole. That's uh, good clearance. And it is half time. We might have actually had a counter attack on there, but brilliant first half here. 1 0 up at Old Trafford. Shades of. When Burnley were last in the Premier League and Robbie Blake got that winner.
Can we hold on to this 1-0 lead? Chelsea beating Everton and, crucially, QPR beating Sunderland. So that's a big game in more ways than one, to be fair. If QPR win that, they could be right back into the hunt. And also that means we'll be able to uh, possibly leapfrog Sunderland or at least get level on points with them. Rooney's done well there. Got to be careful. Oh, man, they've just mugged us off like some kind of year seven against a year 11 or something as uh, that's going to be another corner I have to say it's probably quite a miracle that we're actually leading this game at the moment it's been oh we need to get rid of it and we have and now here's a chance for the counter again and they're committing way too many bodies forward because uh, oh Jutskovic I don't know what Carrick was thinking there and Jutskovic has got great feet but it's not quite worked out there sadly he was basically trying to take on the world there, to be fair. And old Sunderland got a penalty. That's quite crucial. Oh, oh that's got to be a yellow at least. Doesn't really matter. There's advantage played. Uh-oh. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Van Persie, what are you playing at? I think it was Van Persie. And I was thinking of actually bringing a right back over. Yeah, Van Persie gets a yellow, and rightly so. But we have very little left backs. Uh, well, I, I say that we've actually got Ward. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, that's a, that's a horrendous chance. That should have been a red, to be honest. Absolutely fouled from Van Persie. At least it'll wear the clock down a bit for us. But Ben Mee, quite been quite a crucial player for us. He's been one of the he's been really one of the solid players in this team, to be fair. As Kitely does very well in the air there. And now here's Ben Taleb. Oh, that's a good tackle. Oh, actually, apparently it isn't. <laughs> I'll take it. Plays it out wide to Kitely. Uh, oh, can we, oh, we've got a throw in, which is probably quite lucky considering the circumstances there. Oh, not a great touch from Ward to kick off. Uh, well, he's barely been involved this season, to be fair. Ben Mee's just been keeping him out the side. Ah, uh, we're trying to clip it over to Boyd there. Didn't quite work. Was Danny Ings, but I'm quite confident that we're one 0 up. Maynard are trying to push for the equaliser, and we still have three, well, two substitutes to make now, uh, and we can still have the pace of Sordell and Jerome. So I'm pretty confident here, considering how well we're doing at the moment without them. And George Boyd has done very well there. Valencia's got some pace, but Boyd hasn't got a free kick there. Sadly, I thought he might get a free kick, even though Shaw, oh sorry, Blind got the ball. I keep confusing, confusing Blind and Shaw for whatever reason. Great play from Boyd there, and Ings is going to chase that down, and he's not done too badly there. He put pressure on them at least. Now we conceded around the 70th minute mark against Arsenal when we beat them. Obviously, then we got a late goal again. Uh, penalty was Danny Ings, so who knows if that will happen again. But here's Herrera. Must have come off the bench unless he's been non-existent in this game and I haven't noticed him at all. Here's a chance to counter with Jutskovic. who's had brilliant feet in this game. And now he's found Danny Ings, who he's linked up quite well with in this game, I have to say. And that's brilliant play again and Danny Ings could be in here for two. And he's got it! And surely that seals the deal. Danny Ings, who's looked fantastic all game, has got the second and again, Lindergaard. That's shocking. We'll take it, though. I'm not quite sure what he's doing there. Danny Ings, it's his first goal since that Arsenal game. He seems to be the giant killer striker for whatever reason. And we're just going to kind of... I mean, we've had four shots in this game and two of them have gone in. Sordell and Jerome is on, and this could start getting ugly for Man United, to be fair. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, this this looks kind of reminiscent of uh, um, I'll, I'll get on that good run of form because we got that win against Everton, and which is kind of similar to the win against West Brom that we kind of needed um, after a bad run of results, and now we're being a big side, and it looks like we're going to hold on to it as well. And Rojo's got to be careful here. Oh. We've done very well in this game. If we could get a second clean sheet in a row here, imagine the confidence. We're not going to be too far off Man United either as it stands. Oh, that's not bounced out nicely though. And here's Herrera with a chance to get a goal back and make it a bit more tense. 
and Rooney's got it instead. And Man United have a goal back, and so much for the clean sheet talk. Ah, um, oh, it's just side footed in, and Rooney's only his fourth goal of the season. Well, Falcao must be injured or something then, or Van Persie has gone absolutely mental with goals. Although saying that, United haven't exactly done brilliantly this season. That's a poor pass from Rooney, showing why he has only scored four goals this season. And it's now tried to be clipped into Bentelow, didn't quite work. Not a bad ball, and oh, well, rushed that shot was Jerome really when I didn't need to. Ah, uh, surely we can't throw away a two goal lead here. Lindergaard smashes it forward. Come on, Kitely. Ah, uh, well, it didn't really matter because Ward's won it anyway. Ah, uh, referee. There we go. Van Percy should have been ascending off there. Here is Bentaleb. Oh, Jesus, got to be careful, but luckily it was not the greatest tackle. Didn't keep it quite close enough to him. And now it's come to Chalibur, who's got a bit of room, and he's got a lot of room, actually. And it's not a bad effort. Not quite sure why he was given that much room. We've got to be careful on the counter now, especially since Rooney's done well to find Fellaini with that good tackle read. And if he can play it down the line, which he has done, and we've got a free kick, and may not are really dirty in this game. It's a yellow card for Fellaini now. which is again deserved rate and that's James Wilson on final roll of the dice really for United by the looks of it not a bad ball in there Chalibur tries to win in the air couldn't quite and now here's a counter attack time and we've got to be careful here good tackle though on James Wilson who controlled it pretty poorly there we've got a throw in and it's going to take our time with this back to Kitely Plays it inside to Ward. Oh, we've tried to clip it back over there. Didn't quite work. And now they've got a chance to maybe counter-attack. Got to be slightly careful here. Shackle's done well, though. He's, in fact, he's done fantastically well to keep that in as well. And here is Ben Taleb again. And Chalibur's found Boyd out wide. Who's cut inside. Oh! Superb from Boyd. How's that not gone in, though? If he put that in, that may have been one of the goals of the season. But it looks like we're going to hold on here. Wilson's got a bit of room here. Got to be careful. But they just You would think they'd be throwing everyone forward, but they really aren't. Tries to clip it over to Jerome. Maybe shouldn't have tried that. Uh, Got to be careful here. They're coming forward in with a few numbers now. Trippier. They're just about keeping it. If they score now, it's going to be scrambled in, I think. But Di Maria, he could pull, pull some class out of the bag. Uh, it's not a bad... Oh, fantastic block from Chalibur. It's a final corner, I think. Is the keeper up? No, he isn't. I'm surprised he isn't, to be fair. Man United seem to be a bit too relaxed trying to get this goal. And hello, here's a chance for the counter. And now United are in big trouble, but there's... Well, they've been let off. And we have won at Old Trafford. The booze ring around the stadium. I don't know why Rooney's clapping and looks happy. Um, maybe he got another hair transplant. I don't know. Dima Rear. Not very happy, to be honest. He's thinking, why the hell did I move? Um, look at that. Shy accuracy was perfect, though. We have absolutely destroyed Man United. Their QPR looked like they've got a big, big win there. Oh, ben Me out for pretty much the rest of the season. That's a real shame. Um, look at that. We are now right in the fray of everything, really. We're only four points off Manchester United. Six points um, ahead of Aston Villa now. And QPR maybe getting back into the fold a bit. But the next game, which I think is against Sunderland, will be quite crucial for us to try and finally take us off 17th. The drought has finally ended for Ings. All in all, an absolutely fantastic video and episode. Brilliant. Thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye.